This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in sunny Miami. Delighted like to be joined by unified champion Danny Roman. Ahead of your fight next Thursday in Miami. Danny, before we get going, welcome Miami. How are you? Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be here and uh, first time being here and um, I'm excited. Let's go. Let's talk about your fight. Uh, you're facing Murad John Akhmedaliev next Thursday, as mentioned. Big night of action. He's moved, been, moved very quickly. Good Olympic pedigree, good amateur pedigree. What have you seen of him? I noticed that you work out. You said there are flaws there. What do you make of him as a fighter? I mean, uh, MJ, he's a strong fighter. Um, he's moving in uh, fast. Uh, but, like, he got that, uh, he don't got that much experience as a professional fighter, but he got the experience as an amateur fighter uh, and a bronze Olympic uh, winner. And, uh, I mean, he got a few flaws. Uh, but, you know, uh, anything can change in a fight. Um, maybe he worked on them. But, like, uh, we're, we're ready for anything he brings to the table. How happy are you to be back on track after the injury setback? I think it's the first time in your career you've had to withdraw from a fight due to injury. How happy are you to be sort of back on track with things as well? Oh, you know, I was looking for the fight in September of last year, and I, unfortunately this happened, this accident happened, injury. But now we're, we're more than ready to be back, and I'm, I'm happy to be back, you know, because I love boxing, I love fighting. How is the shoulder? Did it take a while to get that sort of confidence back with your punching in the gym as well after the layoff? Yes, it did. Um, I mean, I was out for uh, eight weeks, I believe six to eight weeks, and uh, at first I was hesitant to throw the punch, but like, you know, we started building it up with strength. Uh, once I started hitting the heavy bag, you know, I, I didn't feel no pain, but like, either way, I just took it easy, and I started building from there, and um, I'm, I feel 100%. Do you feel like you've got the bit between your teeth coming back after that frustrating time? You got yourself on a big platform Thursday, that showcase your titles. Do you feel ready to kick on and have a big 2020 now? Oh yes, yes, I, I am uh, more than ready. You know, uh, I kept myself in the gym even though I was injured. Uh, once I got to okay, I went back to it, uh, uh, worked myself up little by little. We did a great training camp. Uh, we're going against a tough fighter, a hungry lion, and uh, you know we're we're here to defend the belts and keep the belts, and uh, hopefully everything goes well on uh, Thursday. As mentioned on Thursday, there is plenty of action, three world title fights, but people seem to be pointing towards your fight as the one that could steal the show. Stylistically, do you expect this to be a fan-friendly fight? Oh, oh yes, of course. Uh, um, there's going to be three world titles uh, fights that night, and like, you know, I'm I'm with a great card, great fighters, but you know, I'm I'm, I'm looking to steal the show, uh, make it the fight of the night. I just wanted to take things back, Danny, because we've never had you on our channel before. I do appreciate the time. I wanted to go back to when you first got started in boxing. I know you've been boxing from a very young age. What was it that got you into the gym with a lot of people? It's their fathers taking them in. For some people, it's just a natural sort of transition through sports. What was it for you? First of all, it all started because I got beat up in school. Oh. <laughs> I got beat up. Uh, my parents, my cousin and my brother were boxing at that time, so my parents sent me to them. And... Uh, and, and that's how it all started, you know, I didn't have no idea about the sport, but once, you know, I saw that, you know, this is, this is something for me, this is my sport, and like, I kept at it, I kept on getting motivated, uh, winning fights, uh, you win, lose, but like, I kept on winning most of them, <laughs> and I, and that, that's where I found out, you know what, I, I, I think I got a gift for this, this sport, and ever, I've been going ever since. I was going to ask you, from when you first went into the gym as a child there, how quickly did you realize there was something special there? Was it a slow process? Did you know fairly quickly? What was it? Well, I was getting everything uh, down quick. You know, the moving, the throwing punches, everything was coming like naturally for me. But like I said, I didn't have no idea about the sport. But like once I started fighting, competing an uh, amateur as a, as a kid, I got to a point that uh, I was ke I kept on winning, kept on winning, and I and I like that feeling, you know. So you know what I. I like winning. I like this feeling, and I and I got the talent for it. I got the gift for it, and and from there, I knew it was it was a sport for me. You're one of these fighters now at the top who hasn't had everything their own way. Uh, obviously, early in your career, you had a couple of blemishes on your record. That can sometimes sway promoters and managers away from wanting to work with a young talent. What was that process like for you of going from sort of building on your own earlier in your career to now being unified champion on the big stage like this? Oh well. At first, uh, the, the flaws I had, it, it was pretty hard. It was pretty hard. Um, I even got to a point that I talked to my manager and I told him, you know what, if we can't find nothing at this point, you know what, I, I'm not going to waste my time because I still, I got, still I, I got rent, I got bills to pay. And so, but like, fortunately, we, we kept on pushing it. We didn't give up. 
But uh, looking at it back now, all of that helped me to become the person I am today and uh, become the the champion, the unified champion that I am now. All that helped me out to to get to this point, and it's, and it's and I still believe I get to achieve more. I was going to ask you about that. Do you think those struggles and them uncertainties when you were first coming up sort of made you the fight you are as compa in comparison to say if you'd been sort of padded by a promoter on your way up or something like that? Yes, yes, yeah, all that it, it helps you because uh, they put you against tests that well, most people don't think you're going to make it and that's where you come in you prove them wrong. And so that helps you, that builds your confidence and it, it takes you to fights that like, you know what, it's going to build the character. It's going to build a character and it's going to be all the champion that you one day will be. Uh, and if you keep on achieving that, uh, unfortunately, it happened to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm the unified champion and uh, I don't regret it. You know, I have fun. Uh, but like looking back now, all that helped me out to become where I am. Obviously, you've got a, a very tough fight ahead of yourself on Thursday, but you had a big dream to become the unified world champion. Your dream came true. Are you now looking towards Undisputed with Vargas and Navarrete out there as well? Yes, yes. Uh, well, my goal was to uh, to keep on winning, becoming a champion, and now I'm the unified champion. And yes, I'm taking it step by step. I'm not overlooking my opponent, uh, MJ, uh, on Thursday. I know he's a tough opponent. Once we get that done, hopefully everything goes well. Uh, I mean, I challenge the champions already. We're just waiting on uh, who's going to be the first one to take the to accept the challenge. Do you have any preference of the other two champions? You're happy to face whoever's up to the task, so to speak. Yes, yes. I, I mean, I'm here to fight the best, you know. <laughs> if you got to be uh, anyone, it, it could be Ray Vargas, you know. Or if not Ray Vargas, Navarrete, you know. But if it's the first one that takes it, I'm willing to fight both. I'm here to fight the best. Now, obviously, Danny, it is Super Bowl next week, Super Bowl weekend, I should say, Miami next weekend as well, just a couple of days after the fight. All being well, are you going to hang around and sort of enjoy the experience in this city as well? You know what? If everything goes well, we might, yes. Excellent. Just wanted to get your thoughts on something before I let you go. Obviously, we've got three great world title fights on this build, but we've also got two YouTubers on this card fighting each other. It's something we've seen a couple of times now, the sort of boxing and YouTube world sort of crossing over. How do you? What's your opinion on that whole YouTube and boxing crossover? Do you see it as a good thing, trying to bring a younger audience into the sport? I, I mean, I was there with uh, Logan Paul and uh, KSI, and uh, you know what? It brought a lot of people, a lot of attention. Uh, maybe not not how we want it but like you know what it, that's it, that's what uh, bringing people to the table that's what attracting people like you know what it's it's good put it for the sport more people get to know about the sport so but you know we'll see <laughs> Danny I'm not going to keep you much longer I appreciate your time I'll leave the final word to you what do we see from yourself Thursday evening final prediction oh I expect a great fight expect a great uh, a great night I'll be uh, full of uh, great fights three world title fights and uh, the YouTuber fights so, you know, it'll be a great night and uh, expect me to take the night and expect me to be the fight of the night. Danny, thank you so much for your time. Best of luck.